No, I'm ready to f***ing do it live. Welcome back to Skippers, presented by Owners Box Fantasy Sports. Solo show today, Jeremy's finishing up his exams, but he'll be back in the office very soon. Keep cranking out some fantasy baseball content. Today's segment, our first weekly awards show. Every week, we give you one player who impressed us the most, one player who disappointed us, and one player who surprised us the most this past week in fantasy baseball. First inaugural due to the week for me is Jose Barrios of the Minnesota Twins. I mean, six no-hit innings, 12 strikeouts, and he got the win against the Brewers. His slurve, unhittable, ran his fastball up to 95, which is up a tick, but possibly a hot gun situation in Milwaukee as everyone <laughs> Velo seemed to be up. 18 whiffs on 84 pitches, 44% called strike and whiff rate is an elite outing for guys looking to make the next step. Jose can keep his velo up and get back to his normal walk rates. I expect a really good year for Barrios. Not to celebrate early, but this was a player that Jeremy chose as must draft earlier in the year. Honorable mentions for this are Corbin Burns and Cattell Marte. My first dud of the season is a guy who I'm really concerned about. And that is Jack Flaherty of the St. Louis Cardinals. Roughed up a bit, uh, gave up six hits, six earned runs, two walks, and four strikeouts over four and a third inning against the Reds. His velo was down to 92.4 miles an hour on the fastball, and although Luis Castillo also complained about his velo being down because of the weather, there's still reason to be concerned, in my opinion. For a guy whose calling card was like an elite whiff rate and the called, uh, called strikes and whiff rate, he only got 14 whiffs on 94 pitches. Slider was really good, but I struggle to think that Jack Flaherty will be a good starting pitcher one on your fantasy rosters. And the runner-up for Dud of the Week is Chris Paddock, who didn't have a great outing either. First surprise of the week is Yerman Mercedes of the Chicago White Sox. He's a guy no one had penciled in to get ABs at the DH spot for the White Sox, but Tony La Russa continues to keep us on our toes. First start of the season, I don't know, he went a decent 5-for-5, five five, driving in 4, followed up the next two games, adding 4 more hits and a home run. Fantasy-wise, I doubt his value will ever be as high as it is right now, and his stat cast metrics aren't very great with his exit velo and hard hit percentage under the 32nd percentile, but... If you could be lucky enough to have him with catcher eligibility in two catchers leagues, he's a guy to monitor, but there are a lot better options if you can only stick him in your utility slot. Nonetheless, an incredible week for Yerman Mercedes. Runners up, Michael Taylor, Cedric Mullins, and Julian Merriweather. Thanks for tuning in to the Week 1 Awards. Longer show next week, but thank you for tuning in, and we will see you guys next time.